Hello Nikki, let's learn about respiratory quotient. Respiratory quotient is the measurement of the ratio of volume of carbon dioxide produced to the volume of oxygen consumed in the oxidation of metabolic fuels in unit time. What is its significance, sir? Good question, Nikki. It gives us the information regarding substrate being used by an organism for respiration. Also, it is a ratio, hence no units are there. What is the respiratory quotient of carbohydrates, sir? For carbohydrates, the respiratory quotient is 1. This is because when you take glucose, the glucose utilizes 6 oxygen molecules and liberates 6 carbon dioxide molecules and water. So we know that respiratory quotient is 6 carbon dioxide molecules divided by 6 oxygen utilized. So 6 by 6 equal to 1. For exclusive carbohydrate meal, the respiratory quotient is equal to 1. But then when excess carbohydrate meal is taken, the respiratory quotient is more than 1 as the carbohydrates are converted to fats. Sir, for anaerobic oxidation, RK will be infinity, right sir? Because no oxygen is utilized. Yes, very good Nikki, you are correct. RQ is infinity for anaerobic oxidation as the oxygen consumed is zero. So what about the respiratory quotient of fats? Is it greater than one? No Nikki, fats contain less oxygen. So what happens is that for its oxidation, more oxygen molecules are utilized. That is if you take a case of palmitic acid, it utilizes 23 oxygen molecules and liberates only 16 carbon dioxide molecules. So RQ will be 16 by 23 that is 0.7. So RQ of fats is less than 1. What about respiratory quotient of proteins? For proteins, the respiratory quotient is 0.8. For alcohol, it is 0.66. And for mixed diet, the respiratory quotient is 0.85. Try to remember all these values, Nikki. These are very important questions. Sure, sir. So, RQ of carbohydrates is 1. For fats, it is 0.7. For proteins, it's 0.8. For alcohol, it's 0.66. And for mixed diet, is 0.85. Right, sir? Exactly, Nikki. Very good. So, you can remember fats, RQ, you know, fat... F can be written like 7. So that's fat, it's 0.7. Similarly, the P of proteins, you can easily make it to 8. So RQ of proteins is 0.8. So likewise, you can remember their RQs. And for carbohydrates, just remember the RQ is equal to 1. Sure, sir. Thanks for the tip. Now, Nikki, can you tell me which is the organ which will be having Maximum respiratory quotient. It can be brain, sir, as it utilizes glucose as its metabolic fuel exclusively. Right, sir? Exactly, Nikki. Brain is one organ which utilizes glucose as its metabolic fuel exclusively. So it will have be having maximum respiratory quotient. But also, when you take the case of RBCs, so it utilizes glucose as its metabolic fuel, there is no oxygen utilized. It is anaerobic oxidation, right? So, uh, RQ will be infinity as the oxygen consumed is zero. Oh sure sir. So for RBCs, even though they utilizes glucose as its metabolic fuel exclusively, its RQ is infinity because the oxygen consumed is zero. Very good Nikki, you are right. RQ is infinity in RBCs and RQ is 1 in case of brain as it utilizes glucose as its metabolic fuel. Okay, now can you uh, tell me answer for this question? What is the respiratory quotient of mixed diet? Sir, it's 0.85. That's right, Nikki. I think now we are thorough with this topic, right? Yes, sir. Thank you so much.